Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. We are doing a re-pour today on a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. Uh, I love the colors and I love some of the parts and some of the things that are happening in here. But a couple of things. This looks like a femur. So that's freaking me out. Also, I think I stretched it a little bit too far here and the paint started to split. And the third thing I don't like is I don't like this weird greenish... I don't know, color, very strange. That interesting green that I love so much. So we're gonna pour on top of this. It's been dry for a couple of weeks, so it's fine to pour on it. Uh, I will show you my colors real quick and we'll get started. This one is a new one for me that I really, really like. This is Pevio Studios Iridescent Blue Black. Very cool. I saw Gina DeLuca using the Pevio Studios acrylics and their pouring medium and it was so beautiful. So thank you to Gina for the inspiration and the shout out for the Pevio Studio acrylics. I like them so far, they're awesome. So that's our first color right here. That's a very nice deep metallic gasoline sort of looking blue black color. So I'm hoping it dries nice and dark too. We'll find out. So that's the first one. The second one I have is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, which I just used most of it in the last pour we did. That you guys will see. That was Lotus the Spicy Crab. <laughs> so this is Metallic Cobalt Blue from Artist Loft. This one is Golden's Iridescent Gold, but it's the heavy bodied one. And this is the Bright Fine. So this is not the 24 karat Extreme Sheen. This is Golden's Iridescent Gold. Okay, this one started out as Arteza's Pearl Pistachio. And then I added some of this Folk Art Extreme Glitter in Peridot. This is the name of it. And that's Folk Art Extreme Glitter. And it's actually a very pretty color. It's kind of like very soft green, spring green with some metallics in it. And I think because of that glitter thing, it's going to dry really cool. Okay, I also have Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Black and another cup. This was my drips that I just scraped from the last pour we did. And I have thinned them out a lot. So it's much thinner than the rest of the paint. So this is literally what I just scraped off my table is in this cup. Okay, so instead of using my big 16 ounce cup, we're going to do two ring pours today and I'm going to layer them both at the same time. So, that out of the way, oh, Gail, really. <laughs> yeah, right, well, if it'll fly is the problem. All right, I'm just gonna hold them. Okay, so we're gonna start with some of the iridescent blue, green, blue black in both of them. And then we're gonna come into that pistachio peridot color. Very pretty. Some of our metallic cobalt. Ooh, that one got more than that one. And a little bit of gold on there. Just a small amount. The gold seems to be thin, so that's okay though. Okay, we're gonna go back to the blue black. So these are seven ounce cups. For a 20 by 20, we need about 16 ounces of paint. So this will give us about 14, and there's an ant. Well, we don't need ants help, thank you. Ants I'm not sympathetic towards. I don't like ants. Okay, <laughs> come back in with the Peridot. So we'll have 14 ounces of paint with these two cups, and then I will use that flow extender that was my drips. Cobalt, such a pretty color, I love this. gold. So like I talked about in the last video, I've been trying to use more of a simpler palette lately because, well, last today I've been trying to use a simpler palette because the last few videos, it feels like I've had so many colors that I don't get to put nice thicker layers in because I'm trying to squeeze everything in the cup. So I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to use, this is four colors. I'm, I'm not even using the black. So this is four colors, and then you actually get to see each of them better, which I like. So, okay. I hope we have enough left in here for another layer <laughs> in each one. Small layer. And we're going to end it with a layer of the blue black. 
Gail. <laughs> what are you doing, Gail? <laughs> okay. So we're just going to wait for a second for the wind to stop blowing like crazy. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to pour. So the, what I want to do is I'm going to pour both of these and I'm going to pour one this way and I'm going to pour one. I'm going to turn the canvas and pour the other one this way. So we're going to start with a small, I guess we'll just put one big puddle in the middle and then kind of spread it around a bit. You guys see Sarah Mac with the two hands at the same time? Wow. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Boom, boom. Chica, chica. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, um. Okay, thank you. Here we go. We're going to do a ring pour. Spicy crap. <laughs> so cute. Okay. I love that. All right. So we're going to go on this side this time. Bump, bump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. I like it. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna take this thinned out drips flow extender. Check your consistency before you pour it around there. Make sure it hasn't thickened up. You know, it's hot, things evaporate. Here we go. Torch it real quick. Notice I only torch the center because I don't want the outside to start to set up. And I'm probably going to tilt off most of that anyway, so what's the point of torching it and making it set up and making my life more difficult? Um, I'm having an urge to wreck it though. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my comb. I'll link these in the description box for you. And I want to just kind of go from here. Okay, so we're going to go through here. And then I want to go up this way. Interesting. I'm probably going to regret doing that, but that's okay. We'll see how it happens, how what happens, because this is still really pretty, and this is still really pretty, and that probably will look really cool in a minute anyway. Okay, so let's see. Which way do we want to go? Let's go this way first, because I like that side the most, and I want to anchor it down. So we're just kind of walking it down the canvas. 
so that it spreads out evenly. And get that right over to the corner. And in this case, since we do have a nice thick flow extender base coat on there, I'm not actually going to worry about going over. I'm just going to pull this over like this. And take this back down to the center. And that'll be just fine because we do have a nice coat of flow extender, a nice thick layer of flow extender on there. Okay, now we're going to go down to the other corner. might end up taking some of that off. And some of this thing off too. Now I'm annoyed because I don't have any more cobalt mixed up. But as I was saying earlier, trying to have more faith in the pour and fix things rather than re-pour right off the bat. I'm going to come around and look at this from the other side, get a different perspective. The thing I'm not crazy about is right here. I wish I hadn't done that through the center because I really like this and I really like that. Okay. Alright, so I'm not loving this at all. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of cup paint in the cup that I was using. And I don't have any more, well, very, very little amount of metallic cobalt. So we'll see how this goes. So there's the blue-black. There's the pistachio peridot. And some gold. And blue-black. And peridot. <laughs> Alright, we're going to pour this right in the center. Are you ready, darling? <laughs> Here we go. That's cool. I like that actually. All right, so it's not our original idea at all, but that's okay. You know, you got to go with the flow. Nobody forced me to comb it except for me. <laughs> and the combing was actually okay. It's just when I went through the middle, I didn't like it. That's actually really, really pretty. 
So let's see, maybe we'll get to keep some of the cobalt on there because there's only seven ounces of paint there. Let's give that a really quick torch. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna go down to that corner first since that's what I like the least. And I'm gonna let that other stuff go off. Bring this back down the center. Stretch it up that way a bit. back down towards the middle. I'm gonna go that way now. I can keep some of that on there. I like this actually. I really like that blue black, it's beautiful. Okay, I still managed to keep that one and drip in it. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of that peridot off that corner. that one just like that. I like that you can still see the cobalt metallic metallic cobalt around the edges. Kind of tempted to take a little bit more off of there but I'm not going to because I like that design that's there. So this one is done. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I really like that iridescent blue black. Very pretty color. Nice and dark. Payne's grayish with uh, some sparkle to it. I really like the little tiny bit of metallic cobalt that's in the center. That's from what was left in the bottom of our cup from the first pour. If you really want to take that edge off. <laughs> I'm not going to because I like it like this. Okay, so before I do anything else to it, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us. I will show you this when it's dry. See you in a little bit. Bom, bom. <laughs> so this is about a week later <laughs> it's totally dry now I really like how this one turned out it's so cute 
I totally see some ducks. <laughs> There's one. She's got a little feather in her hair. And here's the other dude. He's kind of upside down. <laughs> but they totally remind me of Sarah Max ducks, Willow and Birch. So I'm going to call this piece Willow and Birch in honor of Sarah's ducks because they're awesome. I love it when I'm talking to her on the phone. I can hear them in the background. Quack, 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 quack. And they're so cute. And they're just, they're adorable. And she's had them since they were tiny. Which is so sweet. But I really like this piece. This is so cool with that iridescent blue black and the turquoise and the gold and the uh, peridot pistachio. <laughs> so this is very cool. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this piece and I will see you on Sunday. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye.